When it comes to tech, it was a summer to remember, but in case you missed it, we're gonna fill you in on everything from the Mars landing, Apple prototypes, to the gifts to keep on gifting. Everybody out of the pool. All Access Weekly, it starts right now. Katie Lindahl, back at it again. It's Thursday, midnight, and forget Tebow time, it's tech time. Yes. Hope everyone had a great Labor Day. Summer, it's officially over. Sad emoji. But we're dedicating five more minutes to all the great stuff from the last few months. And here to provide the soundtrack to your tech summer, please welcome the tech editor of BuzzFeed, John Herman. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, we have lots to talk about. So forget the Dark Knight, Comic-Con, Olympics. They mean nothing. We landed on freaking Mars! <laughs> Victory for nerds. Curiosity rover touching down on Mars planet. He went 352 million miles. <laughs> Epic journey. But you guys were equally excited about something else that happened in the NASA control room. Mohawk Man. Awesome. Tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, going to Mars, big deal, obviously, very impressive, but the real party was at the NASA headquarters at the Jet Propulsion Lab. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. You had, like, 50-something NASA engineers just freaking out, and then sitting in the middle is this guy, Mohawk guy, Bobak. He's got a star on the side of his head, a Mohawk. It's just looking cool. Like, yeah, we just... We just went to Mars. Like it was nothing. Yeah, no big deal. All right, this summer, summer of iPhone 5, the product doesn't even exist yet. Right. But you guys actually had some pre-prototype images that you're showing on BuzzFeed of things that never came out. Pretty amazing. Yeah, Apple rumors are a cycle. So you get, you basically get to see the phones before they come out now. The iPhone 4 was stolen from a bar and like posted on the internet. Apple's been suing Samsung for copying their phones, and it's this huge, big, boring lawsuit, but buried in the documents are dozens of like old iPhones and old iPads that they just never made. There's an old iPad that's it's like a five pound white plastic MacBook. Like it never, it wouldn't have, it would have been a huge failure. You assume that, that it, like Steve Jobs would just sit in a room and like close his eyes for five minutes and be like, I got it, and then just like draw the iPhone and it's done. But really it's, you know, dozens of engineers and hundreds of people just making every bad idea until they come up with the with the good one and then that's that's what we see. Let's talk about some other things that are trending. What are you seeing this summer? I think at some point maybe in like April everyone just got bored with the internet. We were like, oh, there, there are too many words here. And these we videos. just got bored with the internet. Yeah, yeah we were just like, this is, this is oh. stupid. Like, I, I, need, I need some more stimulation. And so we just stopped using videos and we stopped using words. We just started using GIFs everywhere. So suddenly everything's moving and wiggling and blinking. I think the Olympics were sort of like the perfect like case for, for GIFs because you have hundreds of hours of video and all these events you've never heard of and really what we want to see is people looking weird or doing something cool. And Hillary Clinton GIFs, I'm a big fan. <laughs> right. You yeah. guys are big fans of that as yeah, well. Yeah, if it weren't for GIFs, like how, how many people wouldn't know that she could dance? The world's better for it. So there's also some sad news over the summer. The cat video inventor, he passed away. If you could walk inside the internet, it would be all these weird hallways and Ooh. like dark rooms and it'd be, it'd be completely terrifying. But in the middle, you'd find this glowing oracle of Chris oh. Marker, who was like a very well-respected experimental filmmaker. But he was also the first guy who thought like, I'm gonna make my cat do something dumb and make a movie out of it. And, and that never caught on. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, all. it kind of didn't because the internet wasn't around yet. So it was just like this weird French film thing and then you know 20 years later 30 40 years later it's the most important part of the internet cat videos keyboard cat ceiling cat it's all because this experimental filmmaker put his cat from in front of a piano and started rolling film we take a moment of silence and then we say thank you to john herman for joining us and catching up on everything that went down for more great stuff check out buzzfeed forward and before we go one more thing I loved this summer was the emergence of Bluetooth speakers. You might be wondering what's sitting right here. Well, this little guy is one of my faves that I've been tech crushing on. It's Beacons, Phoenix, portable Bluetooth, and it weighs just seven ounces. And nerds will love it because it has a lithium ion battery, which in short means that you can charge it via your computer. And most important, it gets super loud at a really cool price point of a hundred bucks. And because I love all of you, including you, John, everybody's getting one. Yeah! Yay! Nice. We're all Time. I'll see you next Thursday at midnight. Until then, go to our website, allaccessweekly.spike.com. Now, if you excuse me, I need to find a chocolate fountain. Chiaski.